Saudi Arabia unveils plans for an octagonal floating port city in Niam. The magnificent structures of the world as human beings begin to evolve and make amazing structures and infrastructures that cause the world to wonder about amazing architecture being done on Earth. Hello and welcome to this video as we talk about infrastructure buildings and amazing architectures that make one wonder. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the largest floating structure on planet Earth, which is situated in Saudi Arabia. So just sit back and relax as we take you there in this all extraordinary video. Saudi Arabia has just revealed their plans for an octagonal floating seaport in Niam. This will be the world's biggest floating structure. It is meant to be an octagon port and a logistics hub and is part of the Niam new development. The port, which is also called the Oxagon Port, is said to have 10 regions within the development of Northeast Saudi Arabia. This Oxagon Port will be a port city on the Red Sea and is designed to take advantage of the shipping that is traveling through the Suez Canal. It will also make a port for Naam's wider projects, which is the renewable energy-powered region which will take form as part of Saudi Arabia's 2030 plan to minimize the main source of income on oil and diversify the economy. The Oxagon has a very distinctive shape of an octagon, which is just part of the progression of the land, as well as a huge section of parts of it on the sea, meaning that half of the shape of the octagon is on the water, which is entering into the Red Sea, and the other half of the octagon is on land. The Sections of the Oxagon The Oxagon is divided from the land with a shipping canal. The developers of Naam confirmed that the offshore section of the city will be known as the largest floating structure in the world. The city will be arranged around waterfield squares that will be connected by little canals. It will also include a cruise terminal and a research center for oceanographic studies. The Crown Prince of Saudi Eid, Prince Mohammed bin Salman, stated, and I quote, Oxagon will be the catalyst for economic growth and diversity in Naam and the kingdom, further meeting our ambition under Vision 2030. He went further to say, Oxagon will contribute to redefining the world's approach to industrial development in the future, protecting the environment while creating jobs and growth for Naam. It will contribute to the survey of original trade and commerce and supports creating a new focal point for global trade flows. This Oxagon is not only going to be an industrial port, but also act warehousing and facilities are also met starting different partnerships like hydrogen and ammonia have already partnered with this amazing project. This city is to make a huge utopia of an imaginative and advanced city that will come to life in 2030. The idea of building half the city in the water sounds practical, but it is also symbolic to show the advancement of the future and show the representation between humanity and nature. We are yet to see plans on how the infrastructure of the floating structure will be able to float and the measures that will be taken with the caution that will be made towards storms and tides, which will be the concerning issue for the floating city, which also leaves the question of it being sustainable. How is this project funded? There are multiple sources of income for Saudi Arabia. One of the major forces is true that oil reserves, which are managed by off King Salman before he transfers the power of the funding to his son, Prince Mohammed bin Salman, which is from the fee that is collected from private sectors who invest with the oil revenues. We are still awaiting to see Oxagon City unfold in the future. For now, it's just the plans that are being revealed, but we will be keeping a close eye on the project to give any updates. Thank you so much for watching this amazing video. For more informative videos, click on the subscription button and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to like and share this video. Until next time.